Um, in Morocco, Moroccan police arrest five for deliberately smoking during Ramadan. Article 222 of the Moroccan Constitution criminalizes breaking the fast in public during the holy month. Five teenagers were arrested, and not only for breaking the fast in public, but also for violating the state of emergency orders regarding the pandemic. The five individuals risk a fine um, between the equivalent of 30 USD to 130 USD for violating the state of emergency, in addition to one to six months in jail for breaking the fast in public. So I thought it was really interesting. It should be noted that this isn't just an arrest for smoking. It was also an arrest for breaking curfew because of pandemic lockdown um, restrictions and stuff. But I thought it was really interesting how it was a small fine for breaking the lockdown, which puts everyone at risk potentially versus months in jail for breaking the fast. Well, I mean, technically, in Islamic countries, you don't, it's not the law that you have to fast, okay? Because you are allowed to be a sinful Muslim, and that's just between you and God. What is the crime is if you are breaking your, you know, you're not, you're doing it publicly. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if you eat like for example in iran if you eat in public or if you drink in public or if you smoke in public or if you swim do you know in ramadan you can't have your head underwater that will break your that. fast yeah the pools close down the swimming pools close down um then that's illegal but again for something to be an islamic by the way this morocco morocco is like one of the most liberal moderate islamic countries out there okay Probably the most, can we say Morocco is the most secular, liberal, moderate Islamic country? Is there, probably one, it's like, at least, if it's not the most, it's, it's under five, like it's two or three, like it's, um, it's the best, so this is what you, the best you could hope for, from an Islamic country. Like, okay, so if this guy got punishment from breaking curfew, or for or that's, that's fine, but if there's any punishment on top of that for, for, Breaking Islamic rules, that's the that's the part that we're pointing at that is nonsense. Okay. Like don't if you think like, oh well, he deserves it because he didn't follow those other rules. Yeah, fine, whatever. Uh we're just focusing on the fine, the, the part of the fine that was for smoking during Ramadan. Um the, uh, this is the best you could hope for. Like this is the most secular Islamic country out there, and the government think it's its job to enforce islamic laws like this is this is how ridiculous this is what the standards are like and imagine if this is the best you could hope for how ridiculous shit is in other places right but here's what my question is that, so people might think like deliberately like how what do you mean deliberately because how could you accidentally smoke well the reasoning behind that in islam is that like let's say you're fasting during ramadan and then you just have a force of habit, like you see some stack and you forget that you're fasting and you just eat it. Or you just like, by force of habit, you light a smoke and you just smoke it. Um, and then you're like, holy shit, I'm fasting. Uh, I forgot that I'm fasting. That's okay in Islam. Your fast is not broken. I mean, the way they told us in school is like, let's say in the morning, you wake up and you start fasting. And then you forget that it's Ramadan. And you start eating from morning all the way till uh, afternoon. That all the, the entire duration that you're supposed to be fasting, you eat all day, and then you realize, holy shit, I was fasting. All of this shit that you ate is okay. If you don't remember any of that, they're all okay, right? Uh, so you have to be like on purpose, really like, oh, I'm gonna eat this or I'm gonna smoke, even though I'm fasting, I'm breaking my fast. That's the only way that you're committing a sin, okay? So what I want to know is how does the Moroccan police know that these people were smoking on purpose? Like how? Like would they? Like did they ask them? And they were like, "Yes, find me." Like or I was smoking on purpose, like because they were like being rebellious or something like that. Like uh, unless that was the situation, how can they prove that these people didn't didn't do it accidentally? Like if they say like, "Oh my God, sorry, I forgot," do they still get a fine? 
like does the police the Moroccan police claim to have mind reading powers or something like that like how does this work it doesn't really specify it just says that they were caught on the street um and then put into custody um they don't specify the motivation or intention yeah i mean if i was being arrested i would i will use islam against them i would like only allah can judge me this is not your position to me you know this is not your right to make past judgment on me you're what who you think you are you think you're god to decide what goes on in my heart and my my, 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 my like i would just like start preaching islam to them if they wanted to enforce islamic laws on me that's what i would do um and I would like try to appeal to Muslims and be like, these people are thinking they're taking the position of God and they're just passing judgment on me and they don't like think. Yeah. Anyways. Um, that There's works, a fun by the way. fact that yeah. I learned when I was researching this. A tobacco fatwa was first issued in Morocco in the year 1602. That's only interesting to you, Susanna, because you're a nerd. <laughs> News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that. They want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. 